Welcome to Learning Mool. Today we are looking at the Crayola Widescreen Light Designer and I'm just going to show you some educational uses for it. Obviously it's great for um, creativity, drawing, designing, um, all those things, but I'm actually going to show you how I use it as well for um, numeracy and literacy. Um, so really like a whiteboard to be honest. Um, uh, you can draw on it, rub it out, um, do whatever you want with it. Um, has the light on there so this is why I like it especially for numeracy when we um, get the answer worked out we light it up and um, we shine the light on it and say that we've got the right answer don't we James okay so really just another way of um, doing some visual representation getting your child to draw um, and really get to think about those mathematical concepts so for example I am um, like solving story problems on it so I might give James a story problem where I say there are five sweets so here's my sweets okay one two three four five six seven Okay, what flavour are the sweets? Bubblegum. Oh, bubblegum flavour. Mmm, lovely. So there are five sweets in the sweet shop. Bubblegum gum flavour. But then, James gives me some of his pocket money out of his piggy bank to buy some <laughs> more. And I buy three more sweeties. What flavour are these, James? Chewing gum. Chewing gum? Was that not the same as bubble gum? No, chewing gum is chewier than bubble oh, gum. Oh, but chewing gum's... Oh, right, I didn't know that. Yeah, and you can't blow bubble but chewing gum out. Oh, okay. So I have five sweeties, and I buy three more. James, can you tell me how many sweeties I'm going to have all together? And he's chosen to use um, the number, which is fine. If your child chooses to draw eight sweets, that's equally fine. Oh, I like you've done an equal sign, James. Good boy. Well done. So again, he's starting to explore his mathematical symbols as well. Right, let's see if we were right. Will we light it up and see? Yeah. Right, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Light it up. And there's our answer lit up. So you can see it's just a really nice way of um, exploring that visual representation and actually getting your child um, to um, think about drawing and actually using those mathematical symbols. Okay, right, let's have another go. Um, let's clean the board and um, let's do some literacy with it now. Okay, so, okay. You can actually use the light up feature as your um, yes it's correct or no it's not, which is great as well. Um, that's what I would use it for sometimes as well. And James would use it for me, wouldn't you, James? Yeah. You light up my answer if it's correct or not. So for that double checking is great too. Mommy, yes. Now can I do one on you? You're going to do one on me? Well, let me show you a literacy one first and then you can do one on me. Okay, right, James. I'm going to give you a word and there's a letter missing and you have to fill in the letter, okay? So I'm going to draw a picture first, okay? So here's my picture. And we know my drawing's not very good, don't we? But, okay, so here's my picture, okay? And here are the letters. So uh, James is pretty um, good at his initial and final sounds, just one wee second. Um, but he's still working very much so on those vowel sounds, especially those medial vowel sounds, which can be quite tricky in those CVC words. So it's just another nice way of exploring um, those words. It's a wee bit more interactive, a wee bit more practical than just um, spelling out. So James, I've drew given you my drawing. I've given you the word, what's the missing letter? Right, sound it out for me. Cat. What is it? Cat. Let me tell you if it's right. Let's see if it's going to light up. Yay! <laughs> okay, right, you're going to give one for me. Okay, right, let me just rub this out then. Okay. Right, turn the light off because I'm not right yet. Okay, right. We haven't even done this. Right, is it going to be maths or English? Maths. Maths, okay, right. Now you have to know the answer. You can't give me a question or you don't know the answer because how are you going to check it? So do you know the answer to this question? I would also say that's really important if your child is making up questions for you that they must know the answer as well because if they don't, how can they double check? And um, So it's important 
Okay, so do you know the answer? Yeah. Okay, so you've given me 1,000 plus... No, no 100 plus Oh, 100. but that's not 100. What's that? How many zeros has 100 got? Two. Oh, dear. One of these get rubbed off. Right, rub on off. Here, we use our wee cloth here. You're trying to trick me there. Only joking. Right, would, 100. Would, right, 100 plus 100. Okay. 100 plus 100 equals 300. <laughs> Is it getting lit up? Is it, does that mean it wrong? It's wrong? Yeah. Okay, so I have to try again? Yeah. Okay, let me check again. Okay, so again, they can use that light up feature to check that you're correct. Okay, let's see, 100 plus 100 equals 200. Yay! I got it correct. So as you can see, it's just a really nice interactive way. Um, the light up feature is lovely because that gives you the right answer um, and you can have hours of fun on this and it could be, you can really set it for any question you like at any level. You know, as your child gets a bit more advanced, you can do multiplication times tables on here and um, you can do your spelling words. Um, my older child, um, he's doing spellings at the minute, so he has um, his tricky words and we would do his spelling list on this as well. Just another different way of practicing those spellings and um, those weekly spellings in a wee bit more of a fun way. Um, so we're going to have some more challenges here hope they they're not too difficult um, and James going to tell me if I'm right or not um, so definitely a nice resource if you just want looking for something a wee bit different